right now. The gates are about to be open. Fake Zebras versus Daily Feed. Who is going to make it further in the tournament? And who is going to be sent to the Shadow Realm? You guys voted for Daily Feed. 73% of you think that Drainer can come out on top. Let's see what he can do and open up these gates. I really think one of these teams is going to break a world record for deepest dampening achieved in a tournament. Will we reach 100%? No. I'm no? going to answer that question right now. It's not going to be 100% dampening. Double leg sweep coming in from Rezzers. Actually, double trinket from Lunatic as well as Corky there. There's a nice little setup coming in from Daily Feed very early on. Hex on Alontar gets dispelled immediately. Corky already getting bursted down. A lot of pressure from Rezus and Loveless. That's a Serenity coming in, but Corky should be able to survive. Corky's even running the tank trinket. The absorb shield triggered right now during the initial burst. He gains no damage benefit of that trinket. It's just purely for the shield and the durability. Both healers playing Resto Shaman for the longest mana bars possible. I was wondering if Trainer would switch to Mistweaver or something like that, but nope. He wants to go for as long of a game as possible, knowing that Lone Tar is likely to only play Resto Shaman. Let's see if Lunatic can get anything going. He's already burned through a lot of his hardest hitting abilities as well as Corky, so their damage is in a bit of a lull at this point. Loveless and Rezus have an opening to get aggressive, and they're really pushing it towards Corky, chasing him back behind the pillar. Touch of Death has been committed. Ascendance gets popped as Daily Feed go for a kill. Corky gets Blessing and Protections, though, and it's not getting purged off. That's a bit of a misplay there from Loveless, and Corky will easily survive that big hit. I honestly didn't like that Blessing and Protection at all. I don't think that Touch of Death was really going to do too much to Corky. Could have just gotten the bear form, tanked it out, and now they're down that huge defensive cooldown. It's a five-minute cooldown they won't have available for Serenity. So a bit of a defensive misplay there by fake Zebras, in my opinion. But Rezu's going to have that Serenity coming up soon and able to get a little bit aggressive there on the Corky. If they need it, full hammer justice on the Rezu's. Um, but he's going to be completely fine with Drainer there supporting. That's unfortunate. The hammer justice was one second too late. It was trying to deny the Tiger's Lust to get uh, Drainer out of that root solar beam because it was delayed. Drainer got out of the crowd control for free. Daily Feed now starting an assault towards Corky. Double cap totems landed on the healer and the balanced druid, but Word of Glory healing from Lunatic picks Corky back up in a hurry. Again, it's still kind of triple healer set up on both sides, so before dampening, reducing that healing, it will be difficult for either side to really make a dent. Yeah, Corky's going to be very tanky in this Earthen Shield totem as he runs out of it, taking a little bit of burst from Rezus right now, down to around 50% HP. Um, looks like Lone is in a good position to keep him alive, though. Interrupt coming in from Rezus. Lunatic looking for some CC on a Drainer, looking for the Hammer of Justice. Maybe just trying to pressure down to a split strategy in this matchup. You can see Lunatic is actually rooted behind the pillar. Beautifully done by Drainer, making sure he's kiting Lunatic, denying that damage. And look, it basically Lunatic has wasted his wings with that attack, with that effort on a Drainer. Now Hammer of Justice, there it's Root Solar Beam. Good crowd control from the fake Zebras. Now triggering that tank trinket absorbed though on Rezus, and that's allowing him to easily hold on to all of his defensive cooldowns. So despite that great setup, they ultimately don't get too much done. Yep, and Rezus is going to be able to survive without having to use really anything in that situation. Incapacity on the Lone Tar. Looks like they want to get aggressive. Lunatic getting interrupted. Nice shear coming in from Loveless into a hex, but that gets immediately dispelled by Corky. Corky's been doing a great job in this matchup so far with those hex dispels on his teammates, making sure they're freed up to uh, get their job done. All right, Incarnation now available for Corky. That's a big hit. They just need to make sure they get effective crowd control. They're actually just attacking Drainer in the back line, trying to maybe soften him up, but not getting too much done with that. Touch of death, Rezu's pulling the trigger on that offensive cooldown. Lone Tire deflects with Earthen Shield Totem protecting Corky. Should soak up a lot of this damage line to recover with the off heals from Lunatic as well. Rezu's getting bursted down seemingly out of nowhere. He's portaling back and retreated away with Drainer. Lunatic's in hot pursuit. Not gonna overextend though. That's Incarn from Corky and nobody was stunned. Everybody's just running away. Nobody wants to dance with the chicken and he's just gonna kite it completely completely removing it from the game. How does it feel as a boomkin to get kited on all of your cooldowns? It's like you're the last kid getting picked for softball, man. <laughs> Nobody wants you. Somebody <laughs> dance with the chicken. <laughs> Rez is going to be able to connect on the Corky now, getting some damage out. Corky should be fine. I, I like this pick from Fake Zebras. I think it's very intelligent. When Rezus and Loveless are here, trying to get some pressure on Corky, Lunatic can really punish both these melees with all of the spread pressure that the Rep Paladin offers. I'm, I think the Root Solar Beam Hammer of Justice on a DPS is a great crowd control chain for the Fake Zebras to implement, and they need to line that up with the Incarn. Corky can't just willy-nilly pop Incarn, or they just run away and they can't chase them down. So I want to see Corky set that up better moving forward. Obviously, before dampening, it's unlikely that 
that they kill someone, but it would be nice to force a powerful defensive right before you get to the critical mass in Dampanine and just execute a kill with overwhelming damage. So this next Incarn has to pay dividends. Lunatic caught into a double stun, but Earthen Shield from Lone Tar protecting both members quite effectively. Lone Tar even trying to throw out some lightning bolts, maximizes APM. Even though it's not the most amount of damage, it's better than nothing. Absolutely, in this kind of situation, you want as much damage as possible. There's a cold root beam over on the drainer. He gets out of it. Nice Tiger Claws coming in from Rezus there. Or he's still looking to find some damage, but everyone is 100% HP. That's a big red button. Right Lunatic's playing big red button. He used it on Rezus, but didn't ultimately get too much done with it. Lunatic's trying to have fun, but Rezus just kiting away and avoiding any sort of potential curse. Both Shaman's completely tied up, and there's the red number that we were waiting to see. Dampening has arrived. Will it make it to 100% is the question as both Shamans start off with 100% mana. It's definitely looking more likely. <laughs> I think it's unlikely to reach 100%, but who really knows? There's a full stun on a Corky now. He's getting pressured down. Like we said, as dampening gets higher and higher, it becomes so difficult for these healers to really uh, top off their team. You're trading out cooldowns when you normally wouldn't have to, just based off raw consistent damage. Corky trying to get some damage going right now. Rezus has a Serenity, he has a touch of death. It's an opportunity for them to get some CDs here, or actually land a kill on a Corky if they can get any cross crowd control onto Lone Tar, but doesn't look like they have it available just yet. All right, Lone Tar used his Earth and Shield totem, so he doesn't have that to protect his teammates, and Serenity is available for Rezus. In the meantime, Drainer caught in a Root Solar Beam. No way to get him out of that. He's just going to sit through a full duration silence. Rezu is forced to portal back defensively. Lunatic will switch targets towards Loveless. Drainer trying to reposition to pick him back up. Unfortunately, looking dangerously low. Lontar in the back line. Drainer moving over. Curious if Drainer's going to go for a cap totem here. Both shamans going face to face. Neither one really looking for any crowd control just yet. Big damage on Corky. Touch of death explodes. Corky gets bursted down below half. Lontar caught in paralysis into a cap totem. Good play there between Drainer and Rezus. Instant dispel on the Hexo from Corky. And that tank trinket absorbed is allowing Corky to survive through this desperate situation. Deputy now at 10%. Incarn is available. We see a root solar beam on Drainer. We see a hammer of justice onto the Windwalker monk. If they can execute that with Incarn, they can get a kill. Looks like they're actually just going to go after Drainer. Yeah, he's going to trinket and trade. That's a really good trinket from Drainer, the most effective one he can get. Both Corky and Lunatic committed all their hardest hitting attacks, so trinketing that stun was the right move. Drainer escaped to safety as a result. Yeah, it was the trinket and the astral shift, though, so they might have an opportunity a little bit later on to get some damage done, but like you said, very effective trade. 13% dampening. Big Zebras, you know, they're in a really good spot right now. Everyone's topped off on HP. Just seems really hard for Daily Feet to find the pressure that they need. Serenity's down, Touch of Death is down. Double Leg Sweep coming in from Rezus right now with an incapacitate on the Lone Tar. Some damage and pressure mounting over onto Corky, but seems to be able to tank through this damage quite nicely. There's the root beam into the Hodge like you were looking for. A lot of pressure now on the Rezus. Might have to pour it away in this situation. Trade off that touch of karma. Looks like he's going to be activating the diffuse magic. The Walker Monks have a decent amount of defensive utility that you have to work through, as well as their relatively short cooldowns, so it can be difficult to get through all of them. Mana is slowly whittling in favor of daily feed. Their constant damage is much higher than both Corky and Lunatic, but the burst, I would say, is higher on their side. So with good crowd control and burst windows, Fig Zebras can pull off a win. I didn't really like the swap to Drainer. They only got Trinket. I think the Root Beam Hodge is a much better play. They actually got Rezus' Trinket, so the next Solar Beam in 20 seconds will sit full duration with a full duration stun. They actually have a kill window on Rezus. Cyclone Loveless, Root Beam Drainer, stun Rezus. If Fig Zebras can execute that in roughly the next 13 seconds, they can easily just erase Rezus. They need to buy time for it. Corky's doing a good job of that, stalling it out with a Cyclone on Rezus. Now kiting away. Lunatic, please don't go for the Hammer of Justice on Drainer. I really want to see them save that for Rezus. They've got a huge kill window now. Root Solar Beam available. They need to go for it. They need to try and Cyclone Loveless at the same time or Hex them, and they need to take Loveless out of the game. Or off it. This is an offensive blessing of protection, just removing the touch of death and allowing them to go. Rezus portals back. They know that they want to pull the trigger. They have to do it all at the same time. All three members have to go in crowd. There it is. Hammer Justice Root being perfect execution. They need to take Loveless out of the game now with a Cyclone or he's going to off heal the tank trinket saving the day there for that. But if they can keep doing that over and over, that's definitely their win condition. Yeah, Rezus is going to have that touch of karma available. There's a Cyclone on a Drainer, 25% dampening. Gets more and more difficult. The rest of Shaman has a lot of instant healing with that Riptide ability, but as dampening gets higher, these guys are going to have to cast a lot more heals to keep their teams alive, uh, making them more susceptible to interrupts. It's more difficult in general. Lunatic getting lower. He trades out his trinket. Has wings up right now, trying to get some damage rolling on to Rezus. There's a full hammer of justice. 
Big red button going to be used yeah. by Lunatic as well. So Zico's cheering in the background <laughs> about that trick of choice. Yeah, they're just trying to force a touch of Karma before the crowd control set up. With dampening mounting higher, they will force defensives outside of that window. Corky doing a good job of kiting out of Drainer's earthen shield totem. And now in his own, drop down by Lone Tar. Rez is getting cycloned at low health. Corky trying to make it difficult for Drainer to predict where he needs to time his heals. Loveless now getting cycloned up as Corky's just buying time for that solar beam, which is available. They can do that triple crowd control. They're going to pop in Karn. There's a solar beam. There's the hammer of justice. Good crowd control. Forcing a trinket from Rezus. Unfortunately, I don't know if we'll survive to another incarnation window, so they need to get something done. I love triple cleave now. They're all stacked up as a rep paladin just divine storm the whole team. Drainer tries to deflect with ascendance, which allows him to heal his whole team with just one target healed. So good counter by Drainer. He's been trading his cooldowns very effectively. Yeah, Rezus used a touch of karma though onto Lunatic. Lunatic in a little bit of trouble. Does have the bubble available if he needs it? Serenity gets popped by Rezus. Can they force out the bubble on Lunatic? They do. Lunatic does not want to mess around with that Serenity, with that Rising Sun Kick from Rezus. He uses that key defensive, but now both teams are running on fumes in terms of defensive opportunities. Rezus is going to be kiting away. He needs to get topped off here by Drainer. Activates the Diffuse Magic. Corky's looking to close out this game. Yeah, Corky just sitting in there. He needs 13 more seconds. He's trying to buy time, but Lunatic's under fire. Lunatic has defensives. He needs to try and trade those out as Daily Feed retreat back. They know they're in a position where Drainer will have to trade his Trinket to survive, and that's a very important defensive, especially moving deeper into damage. You see a swap to him earlier, so he's afraid of that option happening. They need to be careful. Rezus is just going to roll back. They know Solar Beam is available. Lunatic can't really overextend with no Divine Shield. They're in a bit of a stalemate. They get the hammer. Drainer trinkets instantly. They're going to pull the trigger and try and catch them off guard as they've overextended. Huge damage. Corky tries to stall it out with some Cyclones. Double Wind Shear breaking up some of the cast. Lunatic still taking a ton of damage. Touch of Death goes. Ticks does tons of damage. Lone Tar Cotton incapacitate into a Hex. Good crowd control. Nice to spell with a Cap Totem to follow up. Lunatic still very low on health, but manages to stay alive. Now they got all the trinkets. This next solar beam in 30. Actually, it's not going to line up. Rezus will have trinket for it. So Corky needs to survive to two more solar beams. He needs another minute and 30 to be able to end this game for his team. But will he be able to survive to that point is the question now at 40% dampening. I think Lunatic is the one that's in a lot of trouble. No t uh, no anything available for him, really. Rezus is going to have that serenity available. If they make a big swap on the Lunatic with any crowd control on Lone Tar, it's really going to be up to Corky to keep him alive. Nice Cyclone coming in. Rezus has his trinket. He has a touch of karma. All his defense is available. They're really just all in Lunatic in this situation. They want the consistent pressure on the Corky if they can bait Earth Shield onto him. There's the double stun. Rezus uses Serenity. Who's he on? On the Lunatic. A huge amount of damage on him as he gets lower and lower. And Daily Feed will strike first blood in game number one. Now, I, I want to bring up, did see them kind of do a split strategy, one offensive, one defensive. This time, maybe we will see all defensive. And guys, if you are actually trying to grind these trinkets while this stream is going on, <laughs> while you're watching the match, remember this. Can I get that? Give it a try. And best of luck as you farm. But let's see who's going to have the luck in this matchup. Will it be Daily Feed or the Fake Zebras? Yeah, Daily Feed, they're going to be moving on. Zot seems to be the target of choice very early on. I expect Daily Feed to do sort of a hit and run strategy. Use your offensive cooldowns, run away, hurdle as long as you can. Zot taking a huge amount of pressure in this early leg suit. That's the Serenity coming in. Lontar trying to deflect with the Earthen Shield Totem. That's going to make Zot very, very tanky. They're trying to delay that edge of insanity, Zot's damage reduction. Once he gets that insanity up, it's going to be very difficult for Daily Feed to push through that. And Zot is running that tank absorb trinket, so it allowed him to build up to full insanity and get the damage reduction benefit now as well without having to trade dispersion in that initial attack. Rezu's Loveless retreating back behind the pillar, trying to kite Corky's incarnation. It's another case of, I don't want to dance with the chicken during his biggest damage potential. Now that that's faded, they're going to get aggressive again onto Zot. Drainer looks like he may want to reposition, but on this big map, if he runs into center field, I can imagine the fake zebras are going to switch to him, so it will be difficult for him to get crowd control change. There's a the paralysis. Drainer's trying to cross the map to follow up out of it, but not able to find it. Maybe Drainer goes for a snipe cap totem. He dispels off some dots when they swap to him. He was just five inches in the open and they burst Drainer down to half HP, but now Zot under fire. Huge damage following up. Barely recovering Whoa. in the nick of time. Dispersion now has been forced, and this game looks more and more in favor of Daily Feed. Yeah, that was a touch of death. Zot pre-dispersioning that. There's a leg sweep over on the Lone Tar. Zot still in a lot of trouble. Serenity coming up for Rezus very shortly. He trinkets out. He wants to keep this aggression onto Zot. In this game, there's a silence on the Drainer. Trying to get some pressure on the Loveless and Rezus are fake zebras, but it seems like they're going to be fine for now. Zot uses the Vampiric Embrace with the VTs to get some healing off on his team. But you can see, Daily the Feed, they're not afraid to run away when they need to. Yeah, I mean, it's just hit and run. And Corky and Zot don't have enough lockdown to really kind of chase after them and 
with the tank trinkets, it's really difficult for them to build any momentum. So Daily Feeders can pause the game by avoiding a fight, just hiding and then pushing back out. And in this position with no dispersion, Zot is in a lot of trouble. Lone Tar tries to preemptively get ready for it. He's got Earthen Shield. Lovely sees that. He's just going to retreat away. Says, all right, we pulled out your defensive. We baited it. And we're going to wait a couple seconds for that to fade, then swing in for a huge hit. Drainer caught into a bash. Corky looking for a cyclone, but the bash was nice. Fake cast on the wind here. Goes for another one. Gets grounded, I believe. Still trying to go for a cyclone out of the silence. Zot, though, still now under fire with his leg sweep. Loveless's tank trinket was procced. In the meantime, he could be an open target. Moving forward. Zogany interrupted. Still falling more and more behind. Yep, taking a lot of damage. Rez was taking a little bit of damage as well, but he has that port. At any moment, he can get away. Unlike the Shadow Priest, he's kind of locked down in the situation. Really don't have very much mobility. There's a root beam over onto Trainer. Love is going to be taking a little bit of burst, but not afraid to run away once again. Stall the game. Rez is going to be helping him, running behind the pillar, tossing out some heals, and that is the effectiveness. So that's one of the powers of this comp that Daily Feed is running. They can turtle and run away if they need to. I mean, it's such a big map, they kind of have to. If they spend too long in the open, then they're just taking free damage. They can do these big swings and just completely avoid the fight, then it's obviously their best strategy. Zot actually playing Nightborn Shadow Priest to get some extra magic damage, but even with that, it, it's not really enough. And I don't see any opportunities right now for them to get a kill target. This is the best map for their Wizard Cleave, but it seems like Daily Feet have the answer to it. Outside of maybe a swap to Drainer, I don't see anybody else dying in this composition. And as long as Trainer's on top of it and Loveless backs him up with some heals or a grounding totem, even that option is looking quite limited. We see an incapacitate on Lone Tar, leg sweep on Zot. Will this be enough to force a defensive cooldown? Rezus and Loveless really ripping in, trying to find something from this opportunity, but not getting it whatsoever. In car and pop by Corky. Are they going to retreat away? There's Root Solar Beam Cyclone to cover the Tiger's Lust. Great crowd control from Corky in this attack. Rezus ultimately does get the Tiger's Lust. Loveless retreats away. They need to push in during this moment and get some pressure going. But if they overextend and line of sight, Lontar, that's a risky move. Yeah, Zot in a little trouble now. Both Loveless and Rezus all over him. Nice double fear. Zot trying to get the pressure out with the BTs. Gets interrupted. Nicely done there by Rezus, slowing down some of that damage. Corky gets the bash on the Drainer. Just trying to get some pressure on Drainer as well. I like what Corky's doing, making sure Drainer is getting punished in this matchup anytime he's compromised his position. You can see Lontar in a very defensive spot, able to just spam out the heals onto Zot. There's an incapacitate. Lontar's going to be completely fine. Drops out the Earthen Shield Totem for Zot. Going to be very tanky in this situation. Still has a Dispersion, still has a Life Swap. This is Serenity coming in from Rezus. He's looking to get very aggressive, but Zot with the Tank Trinket with Earthen Shield Totem will end up weathering the storm. Yep, Drainer caught in a Cyclone. Stun on Loveless. Triple Crowd Control here for the team of Fake Zebras, but ultimately Loveless just retreating back behind the pillar and avoiding a fight entirely. Still waiting for that big red number to appear at the top center of the screen to start reducing healing. Both teams playing basically six healers in this game. Each class can heal. So with dampening, reducing that healing, it's definitely necessary for either team to really score a kill. Lontar caught into a stun currently as they're looking to force more defensives. There's the big red number. Now at 1% healing reduction. This is likely to get worse and worse for the fake Zebras before it gets better. Quirky's trying to set something up here with a bash. Cyclone gets grounded though by Loveless and with two groundings and two wind shears, it's going to be quite annoying to get anything going for the team of fake Zebras. You see Lontar pushing forward. Zot moving up as well, getting ready in, in position if Loveless decides to retreat. We see a stun. Root Solar Beam Cyclone. Triple Crowd Control. Great setup from Fake Zebras. They need to pull an Astral Shift from Loveless with this, but they're not even getting that. Orky's been doing a really good job with the craft cross crowd control, though. The Root Beam on Drainer with the Bash Cyclone on Rezus, making sure Rezus cannot support Drainer with that Tiger's Loss. It's very, very important. So I like the setup that Fake Zebras are doing. Daily Feed, uh, they're in quite a defensive position right now. You can see Rezus in the middle of the map. He has to retreat with the Flying Serpent Kick. Has his port in the middle of the map. Most likely going to want to relay that. He does. So now in a very defensive position once again. Both Shamans doing very well on mana as we do reach 6-7% dampening. All right, Zot moving forward, trying to get some dots, but now he's walked into Rezus and Loveless's trap. Touch of Death available, interrupting him on Shadow, popping that Touch of Death right away with an in cap as Daily Feed look to lead the charge. Lone Tar got an Earthen Shield down, snuck in amidst all of that pressure, though, and it's absorbing a lot of this damage. Zot could have easily gone down or had to trade a more health. Maybe even still, 
as he dips the interesting low, Lontar picks him up with the clutch heel just in the nick of time. Good Cyclones for Torque as well to slow down the pressure. Mana still completely tied at this point, even with maybe a 10% advantage in favor of fake zebras, but pressure is constantly in favor of the daily feed. And if they can force a trinket, maybe from Torque or Lontar, they could even switch to that target later on. We see a Cyclone stun, lock up combo. Loveless trinkets uh -oh, into uh -oh. another stun. He needs to get out of there quick. He's dipping lower and lower. He's being greedy by playing out in center field. He's spending too much time in the deep end. Silence on Drainer. Loveless trying to duck around the corner. Double root solar beam. Rezus moves over to get him out, but he's dipping lower and lower. They get a spear link, and suddenly out of nowhere, Fig Zebras have a huge lead. Yeah, Loveless needs to do a better job with the hit and run. He's sitting out in the open for way too long. Once they get those defensive cooldowns, or once they don't have their offensive, they need to run away. Use the pillar, use the line of sight. Corky's just having a field day There's in this matchup so far. Big swap over on the Lone Tar. Gets the Earthen Shield totem down, though. Should be okay. Zot now gets to free cast and really lay in as that Shadow Freeze. Big pressure still on the Lone Tar. Rezus all over him. Loveless trying to get aggressive as well. The Lone Tar should be able to survive with the support of Corky and Zot. Yeah, Loveless getting cloned on that Ascendance. Corky with great defensive play. I love Lone Tar's positioning. He's got two Wizards on his team, so he doesn't want, he wants to be in the open, as far away from a pillar as possible for an opportunity like this, where they can stun lock someone in center field and burst them down. They might even swap to Drainer. I'd love to see a swap here. Just rot the whole team, try and close this out. They're trying to push forward. Secure a kill on Loveless, but he's just out of line of sight. Corky not able to keep up. Dampening, ramping up higher and higher, but momentum has swung in favor of Fake Zebra suddenly out of nowhere. They've started to get a lead with all three members rotting down slowly, but surely Corky looking for some cheeky Cyclones, trying to fake cast the plethora of interrupts available for him. Also trying to pre-bear from any incoming stuns as Daily Feet are switching their targeting later into the game. Well, I just think Daily Feet is overstaying their welcome in the middle of the map. I really want to see them just do the hit and runs. I mean, it's not the most exciting gameplay, but I think it's their best strategy. If they sit in the open for too long, Fake Zebras builds way too much pressure, way too much momentum. So really want to see that from them when they have the surrender, the touch of death, the ascendance. That's when they can get aggressive. Full root beam now over on the drainer. Fake Zebras looking to close out this game with a little bit of pressure over on the level. Zot chasing him down with the mind flay, but really not finding the significant damage. Loveless able to top himself off while Drainer's in that crowd control. And I'll give her a cheeky hex on Zot too. Leg sweep on Lontar, they're trying to swap to him. See if they can get anything going. Life gripping him to safety. Really well done from Zot. Loveless rotting. Rezus is rotting. And Fake Zebras finally have momentum. This is still anyone's game now at this point. Rezus getting cycling on that Serenity cooldown. Nice double stun from Lontar as he tries to escape to safety. I love Daily Feed mixing it up and going for different targets, trying to keep it unpredictable. I think it's going to be important moving into dampening. You're more likely to force someone to make a mistake if you catch them by surprise. It also seems to be taxing Lontar's mana a lot more in this matchup. We are 26% dampening. We'll have to see how high we can get. Rezu's throwing out some Vivifies to top himself off, and now Daily Feed is completely stabilized at this point in the game. No Serenity available. A little bit of pressure now over on Azat, trying to get those interrupts out, but they don't want to stay in the open for too long. You can see Corky once again. He's getting out a lot of cast. Here's a full Cyclone over on the Drainer. Now Loveless could be in some trouble. Zot, though, is the one getting bursted down with the full incapacitate. Capstone on the Lone Tar. Nice crowd control coming in from um, this Daily Feed. Try to get some momentum on their side, but Zot seems to be just fine. Loveless dips low. His tank trinket's going to proc. Drainer rotting as well. Corky standing right on top of them with Empire. He's saying, you dance with me now. He's just chasing them down, trying to finish this game at 30% dampening. He's got a lot of pressure actually rolling. I love the positioning. They've got them cornered. Corky on one side, Zot on the other. There's nowhere for them to run. Finally, good positioning from the fake Zebras. If they can keep onto this momentum, Drainer needs 20 more seconds for his big healing cooldown to recover from this pressure. 18 more seconds. Is he going to make it is the question. Rezu down below half. His tank trinket procs. Full clone secured by Corky, they're going after Loveless. They need more burst and they need it now. Will they be able to do it? Another Cyclone from Corky. Great Serenity. crowd control, but Serenity gets popped into reversal. Zot dips low. He's forced to trade out Dispersion as both teams continue swinging. Yep, Zot was in a lot of trouble there, realizing the situation goes into Dispersion. Able to deflect some of that incoming damage. Now Rezus looking like he wants to retreat. I like what Daily Feed is doing. They need to get away for just a little bit, but Corky and Zot, they're going to be in full assault mode right now, charging in. There's the bash over on the Drainer. He gets lower and lower, gets silenced there out of the bash, but the Astral shift up. He does have the Ascendance available as well. That cooldown you were talking about, that really boosts his AoE healing so he can top off his team. He just needs to get out some Cassid heals while that's up. He would like to line it up with Incarn, which is only a minute and a half away. I don't know if he can wait that long. Now he's fully cycloned. Everyone on his team is rotting. He's playing it patient and sitting through the Crowd control, they need to break up these clones. Nice wind shear. good backup by Loveless as they're gonna go behind the pillar. Rezus gets left behind though. He's cloned at low health. 
We need to be careful in this position. Corky's moving in. What's he going to do? He's got Root Solar Beam available. He could pull that. We see Karma is going to get traded for that. Drainer gets cloned on the Tiger's Lust. Good crowd control from Corky. Fake Zebras have a ton of momentum, but Zot is dipping low and is in danger. Lone Tar needs to keep his eye on him closely. They need to be aggressive. Trade cooldowns and just push daily feed over if they want to take this. It uh -oh. is looking better and better as Rezus gets stunned up. Spearling gets dropped with Ascendance. Drainer just pulls the trigger on every healing cooldown. Desperately trying to recover in this dire situation. Will it be enough for him to fully recover is a question. He needs some healing surges. He doesn't get them. Now he's caught in the full cyclone. Corky really letting it rip. Zot getting full dots onto the entire team. Loveless trying to reconnect with his team, but he gets rooted up. They need to split up. They need to go on one side of the pillar each. Corky here on the right. Zot on the left. Well, now Zot on the right and Corky on the left. They need to split up in a triangle so at least one member can attack the entire team. And slowly but surely, they're rotting daily feed down. Yeah, but Zot is very susceptible. No trinket, no dispersion, no nothing. If they can get this clean serenity up on him, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Lone Tar has to respond to the situation. There it is. Serenity life swap comes in from Zot. They're going to be able to just push through those sticks. Rise and Sun Kick's going to be devastating. Zot manages to survive. Now Drainer in a lot of trouble. No trinket. Astral Shift gets bopped. Corky uh -oh. trying to take him down with the bash. In the meantime, Zot caught into the leg sweep. Of course, he used the dispersion. Both teams just trading out everything at 45% dampening. This could easily go down to a 1v1. All six members in this game could die at any second. Drainer caught into a silence and is looking to close. He squeaks around the pillar, but Zot's on the other side ready and waiting. Tons of damage. Shadow of Death come crashing in. Drainer will fall first, but there's still damage available for the team of Daily Feet if they keep playing this out. Very surprising to not see them just try at least to play this out. They've got Astral Shift and Touch of Karma. Huge damage potential, but they're just going to give up. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's look at the EU. Let's actually look at how this one closed out, and then I want to talk about NA. Zico, how did this actually close out? Well, at this point, uh, it's just so high uh, dampening. Drainer has no cooldowns left whatsoever. He gets silenced here by Zot, and then he lines Zot, actually, and goes into Corky's line. Now, here, Drainer makes a crucial mistake right there. You do not walk out to Zot. You stay on Corky's side of the pillar there, and you line offside Zot as much as possible. You try to... Uh, in, we are going to fully break down everything that happened today after this series, but we got to turn our attention here to Daily Feed versus the Fake Zebras. Who's going to do it? Who is going to get the advantage in this series? Let's crack these gates open. I really wonder if they're just going to run at Lone Tar. They got nothing done on Zot, I feel like, that entire game. I mean, maybe early on it looked like they could win, but then later and later it looked worse and worse. So they could potentially do an all-in onto Lone Tar. Drainer across the map with his team. Well, just going to be going after the Shadow Priest early on. I mean, one of the main reasons there's huge damage on Zot at the start is that he doesn't have full insanity. So he doesn't have 20% damage reduction right now, which forces him to disperse. Did he change the tank trinket? I feel like it should have procced in that situation. I feel like him not wearing it, it might be a mistake. We're going to have to wait and see as Zot dips low. Yeah, dips lower and lower. Rezu still hasn't run out of damage. Has the touch of Parma available as well. There's the stun onto Drainer from Zot. Good crowd control coming in. He uses the Astral Shift. That was a bit of a question mark for me. Drainer activating that defensive cooldown. I really don't think he needed to. I mean, he just wants to go one for one on the Incarnation. Flying up your cooldowns with that usually is okay. The damage from the Moonkin and the downtime is just so minimal that with Grounding Totem and Riptide, you can pretty much avoid it. And right now, they're just kiting away from Corky, denying any sort of pressure during his incarn. And then as soon as that's over, they're going to get aggressive once again, just off-healing each other. Now they're going to jump on the Zot. Incarn is over. They've avoided that initial assault. Now they're trying to get crowd control set up, but Lazat has gotten to full insanity, that purple bar below his health. So he's taking 20% less damage right now, so it's going to be a lot more difficult for Daily Feed to get something going. Yeah, this is where he becomes an immovable object in this matchup. If they can take him down, it's going to be a miracle. Lone Tar taking a little bit of damage. Zot, like you said, very tanky, quirky to support with the Cyclones. A nice interrupt coming in. Here's the triple CC, silence on the Drainer, stun on the Loveless, stun on the Rezus. Doesn't look like they were able to get too much follow-up damage. Zot now, I think Trinket is going to be proccing onto him. Rezus doing a significant amount of damage, but Zot seems to be just fine. All right, Loveless bursted down to half. Managing to proc his tank trinket, but not push him over the edge. A nice cyclone from Corky at low health, denying the pick me up from Drainer. Drainer now getting wind sheared, potentially more follow up. Able to get it, grounding totem denies it. Drainer moves in position to deny it. Loveless recovers. Zot in a good position out in the open. It's really important as a wizard cleave against a melee cleave that if you're the guy getting attacked, you just drag the team as far into the open as possible. So we see Zot standing in front of that gate. It's as far away from a pillar as possible on this map. That way, if Drainer tries to go out in the open to heal his team, Corky and Lone Tar can crowd control him. And this triangle positioning is being executed very well by the fake Zebras right now. Fortunately, before we get to dampening, I think it's unlikely that they can really get anything going. There's just six healers in this game, so they need that healing reduction 
option to push someone over the edge. Yeah, Lovelace taking a little bit of damage right now. Doesn't want to overstay his welcome once again. He's a good target for the fake Zebras. The best target, in fact. So when he's out in the open like this, Corky has an opportunity to get significant damage out. But you can see the dispels coming in from Drainer. There's a silence on the Drainer as well. Loveless actually trinkets and uses the Astral Shift into a full Cyclone. Very nicely done by Fake Zebras, getting up those cooldowns and then controlling Loveless up. And that's the result of perfect positioning as well. Drainer has to walk into crowd control now into a full Hex. Loveless needs to dispel that. Catches his, catches it, but now Drainer dispelling dots could fall behind if Corky can get anything. Gets a Cyclone on the back of it. Loveless is forced to run away. And now Zot can free cast in the open. This is what you do by standing in the open. You eventually force the melee to run off you, and you get to free cast dots and really ramp up big. You just need to be careful when you're pushing in that you've got one wizard on one side of the pillar and the other on the other. This map pick wasn't very good, uh, I don't think, by the team of Daily Feed. There's no pillars for them to retreat and do that hit and run strategy, so they're all in, which I think Fig Zebras are more than happy to meet them. Yeah, I have to agree with you. Daily Feed, I think, throwing away this map a little bit. I mean, Zot really doesn't need to kite. He just needs to sit in the open, doesn't have much of an opportunity to run away anyways. If anything, it just hurts Daily Feed's ability to run away and reset the game. Corky's going to be able to hunt him down, them all down very, very easily. Montar going for the full hacks over onto Rezus. Bash now over onto Drainer. Uh, Corky looking to get some damage going with this incarnation. And it looks like Loveless and Drainer should be okay. Zot pushing in, looking for a fear, looking for a disarm over onto Drainer. Do they have the damage? Drainer gets fully cycloned up. Now Loveless and Rezus turning their attention over onto Lone Tar, getting a little damage on him, but he gets life grip to safety by Zot. He should be fine in this situation. Yeah, Lone Tar instantly going to a position out in the middle of the map. He's the one being attacked, so he's the one that has to bait the melee into a bad position. Drainer is committing and going all in, but now he can't avoid crowd control in center field, so as soon as he's off cyclone DR, Corky he is going to put him into that. They are trying to race against the clock to kill Lone Tar. He's going to reposition where Zot was to begin with, as he is now the target for Daily Feed. There's Cyclones out on Drainer. This means that Zot and Corky get to free cast, though, and that's a ton of damage potentially that they're leaving open. How long can they stay out? Looks like not very long at all as they retreat back to the tomb. Yep, Drainer gets uh, feared away by dispelling Zot's dots anytime. Drainer dispels the VTs. He doesn't get horrified for a second, so if you're unfamiliar with that, that's what is happening. It's a little bit of a punishment there for removing that Shadow Priest damage, and they can potentially set up off of that, uh, but it doesn't look like they've been able to really capitalize on it so far in this game. Cyclone over onto Resus right now. He has no Trinket. They could do a big swap over on him, maybe into a, from a full bash for the Root Beam over onto Drainer, potentially, but they don't seem to have damage so far. You see a double stun here from Fake Zebras. Triple silence. The entire team silence. Drainer now into a Cyclone. Loveless and Resus just healing each other and ducking for cover. Lone Tar interrupting that, though. Trying to stall it out as long as possible and force a cooldown just as we enter Dampening. This is a critical point if you can manage to pull a defensive, because then when Dampening ramps up really big, they don't have it to survive with the healing reduction, but even still, they're not able to find it. Now they need to start pulling back into that open field position. Zot knows that he can't stay on the tombstone. That will be advantage to daily feed, so he's retreating away. Lone Tar repositioning towards the entrance of the room, but that means Loveless and Rezus can hide in the room. I don't really like that positioning. Lone Tar, though, gets life gripped into a much better position. Good defensive Cyclones from Corky. Positioning overall very effective from the fake Zebras, and I think they will ultimately be able to take this, but the opportunities for daily feed to maybe go after Lone Tar is still an open target. Drainer gets swapped to in the open. They're trying to punish him as it's a race to kill each healer. Drainer gets silenced, but he can duck behind the tombstone. He gets blown. They switch targets, but Zot now is getting bursted. It's going to proc his tank trigger, so he is playing the tank trigger still. Looks like they're going to split DPS, and I almost like that even better. You can't have Earth Shield on two targets, so Lone Tar's going to have a difficult time dealing with this split strategy. Yeah, has to make some tough calls. That's a beautiful ring of peace coming in from Rezus, forcing Lone Tar out of that Earthen Shield totem, which is going to be his damage reduction. So very nicely done. That is some Windwalker utility you have. Speaking of utility, Zot's been doing a good job with that leap of faith, that life grip for his teammates to keep them alive. Something Shadow Priest were giving back in BFA so he can grip a teammate to himself to keep them away from, uh, you know, the enemies doing damage, drag them to safety. So uh, I like what Zot's been doing with that so far in this game. All right, now they're both colliding on Lone Tar, catching him in a leg sweep and trying to burst him down, but it doesn't seem to be enough to finish the job. Drainer gets silenced. Loveless gets stunned. Good setup from Fake Zebras. They get a Trinket and Astral Shift from Loveless just before we move into Dampening. This is exactly what they needed to have happen to kill Loveless moving forward. Now they're retreating away. They're kiting away from Corky's Incarn, but he's all over them. He can triple dot. I love this attack on Drainer during Incarn. Try and punish them for stacking up. They need to split up. Corky on one side, Zot on the other. They're in a good position, so at least one of them can cast on the opposing team. They force so many defensives now with Touch of Karma, as well as the Tank Trinket of Rezus, as well as the Ascendants daily feed have blown through their entire defensive arsenal basically at this point if they overextend into the open they could throw this game quite easily 
Yeah, this is where that map could really backfire on Daily Feed. They really don't have anywhere to run, anywhere to hide when they are behind on damage, on cooldowns. Now Corky taking a little bit of burst. Doesn't have the bar skin, has no trinket. Serenity gets popped by Rezus. He trinkets out of the bash, wants to get aggressive with that cooldown. Corky getting lower and lower. He's going to be sitting in that early shield totem. Incapacitate over on the lone tower now. Corky's still in some trouble with the leg sweep. Rezus trying to create some pressure for his team. Unfortunately, Loveless is not there to do too much damage. Still on to Zot, though. I guess that's what he's been doing. They're really implementing that split strategy, like you said. Try to tax Lotar's mana, and it's working so far. We're at seventy percent dampening. Lotar's around sixty percent mana, whereas Drainer is way ahead. I mean, splitting means you've got pressure on each caster that you have to be worried about dying and maybe getting interrupted and bursting without disperse. So, it's definitely a good strategy to attrition the opposing team. But now they're forced to run away. Lotar is moving up, looking for some cheeky hexes. Not going to find it. Corky and Zot now they need to split up, and right now they're not. They're both stacking into the same position, which means that Daily Feet can easily on the side. There we go. Now they're splitting up. Corky on the right, Zot on the left. At least one of them will cast as we move deeper into dampening. They've got another 30 seconds to make a big push before defensive start rotating up. Lone Tar caught into an in cap as they both collide onto Zot. Huge rising sun kick, triggering that tank trinket absorb right away, but I don't think they have enough damage to cut through it. Now Loveless getting swapped with a Cyclone on Drainer, stunned behind the pillar. Another Cyclone follow-up by Corky, but it seems like Loveless will survive as he ducks recover. Drainer into Root Solar Beam. Fear on Residues to deny the Tiger's Lust. Good cross crowd control from the fake Zebras. They're executing quite well, and I think slowly but surely Surely they're marching to victory. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Double stun coming in. Nice cap stun from Lone Tar on the Drainer and Rezu. Sot now could be in a little trouble. It does get interrupted. Rezu did manage to bait out that trinket. Has a serenity. Pulls the trigger. Oh. Zot gets lower and lower. Can they kill him through it? Doesn't look like they're going to be able to. Big heal is connecting from Lone Tar, but they got out that dispersion quite easily. Rezu's coming back with that serenity. Zot may have got out of dispersion a little bit too early. Almost getting knocked out of the Urban Shield totem with that ring of peace. But unfortunately, Rezu's not placing that quite as well as we normally see. And Zot's going to be able to sit through. Uh, all this damage quite easily. Yeah, but now with no dispersion, he's looking to use life swap to switch his health with another member during the next burst window. They have trinkets to activate for it. They're in a great position. Lone Tar has recovered mana. This could be the life swap. Loveless in a bash. Corky looking for clones. Gets Winchard. They need to deny Cyclone as long as possible. Drainer gets silenced. Loveless gets bursted, but Zot is the one still on the back foot. Lone Tar is really struggling to heal through this. Cyclone's finally on Rezus to slow down the pressure. Lone Tar connecting some healing waves. He's going to pop Ascendance, boost his healing quite a lot. Drainer moves up. He's in the open. They could swap to him. This is a good uh -oh. position for fake zebras to pull the trigger. Corky sees the opening. He's going to pop Incarnation and try and ramp up his damage. But Zod is still on the back foot, falling more and more behind. He's trying to reposition towards the gateway. This is the best spot for him to stand and build momentum for his team. It's still anyone's game now at this point. Yeah, Corky with the Cyclone is going to be very, very effective at keeping Zod alive. He needs to get that Cyclone over onto Rezus right now. Has it on Drainer. Rezus Force sees the touch of Karma. There it is. The Cyclone on Rezus. No trinket available. This is an opportunity for Zod to get topped off quite easily in this situation. You can see everyone from Daily Feed is rotting lower and lower. Bash now over on Rezu. Silence on Drainer into the stun. Do they have any follow-up damage over on Rezu? He ports away to safety. Going to be spamming out some Vivifies on himself to keep himself alive. Fig Zebra is looking to get aggressive, though. You can see Longtar and Zot want to get in a position where they can sort of pincer um, Daily Feed and keep up this damage. All right, they're done running away. Incarn is over. It's time for Daily Feed to get a kill. They've got 15 seconds to do it. Will they be able to find it? Zot dipping down to half. They could quite easily. Serenity pop. Huge damage. Zot in a lot of trouble. Life swap over to Corky. Bouncing his health for his. Loveless now on the run. They got that big defensive. That's their hit. Now it's time to run and heal back up and recover and look for another opportunity moving forward. Yep, and now Zot has that dispersion up and really Rezus doesn't have Serenity for another minute, so Zot's going to be okay for quite some time in this situation. 37% dampening. There's a leg sweep on Zot. They're just looking to pull the trigger. They don't need the Serenity. They're looking to take him down in capacity. Actually, a beautiful ring of peace on a Lontar. Look at Lontar. He just caught into the room. Zot trying to get in a position where he can get some heals here. That was very well done by Rezus to deny any of that incoming healing. Lontar throws out the Earthen Shield Totem. Zot will be able to survive. Drainer taking a little bit of damage right now. Corky trying to build some momentum, some pressure for his team at 40% dampening. It gets very nightmarish for both of these healers. Yeah, Corky's Incarn comes up in one minute. He needs to get a kill with that. I don't think they're going to survive to another Incarnation window. So they have to overwhelm the team. Zot in the meantime under fire as Rezus goes all in with Touch of Karma and Touch of Death. This could be a scary moment for Zot. He's just going to trade Dispersion and respect the damage so he doesn't fall behind. They need to get Drainer out in the open. They've managed to bait him to follow his team. Drainer and Zot both in a lot of trouble. Drainer retreats back to the pillar. Loveless already meeting him as well. Rezus got left behind though. Do they have a stun for him is the question. I don't think they do. And 
Looks like he's just fine chilling there. He's going to roll portal back behind the pillar. Incarn coming up in 30 seconds. If they can force Ascendance here before it, that would be a critical move to get a win. They need more momentum. Solar Beam onto the whole team. Unfortunately, not rooted. So Drainer easily escapes Ooh. the silence. Now Zot in trouble. He's in so much trouble right now. They have no defensives available. Rezus has the Serenity. He has the damage available to take him down. Corky going in with the defensive cycle. is on to Rezus. He opts to not trink it out. He hasn't used Serenity yet. He wants to save that so he can get out of crowd control when he needs it. Now there's a bash over on the Drainer. Drainer could be in some trouble. Incapacitating on Lontar. Zot in a lot of trouble. All by himself. Bring a piece into the room all alone. Loveless gets disarmed though. Silence on Drainer. Triple, Triple fear coming in from Zot to keep himself alive, but he's low. Gets oh. taken down by Rezus with a huge rising sun kick. The head link. Speed will go up two to one and maybe a little bit of defensive cooldown mismanagement there. <laughs> it is crazy, Zach. Oh, he needs to get lucky. If he can get a lot of Earth Shocks in a row, he can just eradicate someone in this arena. But he's got to get a little bit lucky to do it and survive to that point where he can maximize his damage. He's currently just back behind the pillar, bunkered down. Drainer is actually in the middle of the map. This is a bit peculiar. Corky's just going to punish him for that as Drainer retreats away. They almost baited Corky. He actually just popped Incarn, and now the entire team ran away. Zot's getting under a huge amount of pressure from Rezus early on. Tons of damage, actually, and this is massive point you don't want to throw away the game this early on yeah Zot didn't have to use the dispersion though Loveless has to be there to get those incapacitate totems onto to Lontar out of the in cap of Rezus they need that crowd control chain if they want to get a win there's a stun over on the Loveless and he has to use the astral shift with Drainer into the cycle and Loveless could be in some trouble right now trying to just avoid as much damage as possible LOS and Corky the best he can getting in line inside of Drainer but Drainer gets silenced up Loveless still not topped off finally some Riptide's gonna be connecting Loveless should be okay all right, both teams stabilizing early on despite that initial aggression from Rezus. Rezus getting cycloned up, Drainer repositioning, does not want to be anywhere near Corky, but now back in the middle of the map, Corky looking to Cyclone, gets wind sheared, Lone Tar gets paralysis, Corky getting bursted down, Loveless trying to set up some pressure, but Drainer into the clone, Loveless retreats back behind the pillar. The disadvantage of the Elemental Shaman is that your healing surges aren't instant cast like enhancements, so he can get interrupted and bursted. Zot under fire at the moment, Lone Tar trying to pick him back up. He's not in any crowd control, but seems to be struggling. Yeah, Zot in a lot of trouble. Gets knocked out of that Earthen Shield Totem. Nicely done by Rezus, rooting him outside of that. There's an interrupt as well, but Corky with the defensive Cyclones, really controlling up Rezus. Rezus has to have his trinket available when they want to land a kill. Serenity is even coming up. Um, a little bit of pressure now over on the Zot. Lontar looking for the hacks over on the Rezus. Unfortunately, not getting dispelled. Finally, Drainer gets in line of sight. Lovely just line of sighting, and it seems like Daily Feet does not have the same kind of pressure we saw in the previous game. Yeah, I mean, Enhancement Shaman is going to be a lot more sustained. Outside of Earthshock, Elemental doesn't do too much. Now the Earthshocks are coming towards Zot. Two of them in a row, bursting him down, but Lone Tar already in position to pick him back up. They need to time crowd control at the same time as going for those Earthshock combos. Big Rise of Sun Kick, but gets cloned by Corky. Zot and Corky are playing a lot more aggressive. They don't have the threat of that Enhancement Shaman sustain damage, so they're really getting in the face of Daily Feed, and we could be going to a Game 5 if they can be aggressive enough to close this out. We see Touch of Death committed as Rezu swaps to Lone Tar. He trades out Astral Shift, a one-for-one -one exchange, reducing all this incoming damage and allowing him to tank it quite easily. Corky getting leg sweep. Rezu just trying to stop Cyclones. Loveless positioned back behind the box as an elemental shaman would. He's got full maelstrom, so he can use Earth Shock now. And if he gets lucky on it and procs it, he could just burst somebody down. He needs to coordinate with Rezus. I'd love to see a paralysis on Lone Tar. Swap to Zot. Earth Shock, Earth Shock, take him out. There's one Earth Shock on Corky. Not going to commit for the second one. Actually, does go for the second one. Bursting him down to about half HP. Ring of Peace to try and interrupt the Cyclones. Nice job by Rezus. He's just going to train down Lone Tar. And then might go for a split strategy, as we saw in Runes of Lordaeron. Yeah, not the worst idea. Corky a little bit low right now. Lontar has to decide who he wants to heal. Looking for the healing wave. Rezus, does he have the spear hand strike? Unfortunately, no. Drainer now into the bash. Corky really laying in, putting out a lot of pressure over onto him with the hex over onto Rezus. Silence now on Drainer. Unfortunately, a little mistimed, allowing Rezus to get dispelled and Drainer to get to safety. So he's going to be fine for now. Big Zebra seems to be a lot more comfortable with the Elemental Shaman to push in and get aggressive. Previous matchups, we really didn't see Zot able to push in, get on top of Drainer, get out those dots, get out that pressure. But Serenity comes in from Rezus. A lot of pressure over on Zot. This could be the dispersion. Rising Sun Kick connects. Procs the Trinket. Zot getting lower and lower. Spearhand Strike comes in. Lontar connects the heals, so Zot should be completely fine. Yep, as Big Zebra is restabilized. Mana, though, getting in favor of Daily Feed. Health not in the case, though. 
Drainer's got a lot of work ahead of him to pick his team back up. He's trying to dispel dots rather than heal through them, which is a nice decision here. Rezu's getting bursted down, blocking his tank trinket as well. Drainer caught into a cyclone. Corky getting earth shock though. A lot of damage towards him. Bark's getting in a bit of a panic moment. And if that happens again, Corky might just get deleted and knocked out of the tournament by daily feed. So Loveless is still bunkering down behind the pillar and just building up Maelstrom for that opportunity. Drainer getting swapped. Too. I love these swaps by Zot and Corky. They're playing a lot more aggressively, forcing an Astro shift right before a big burst window potentially from Zot with Shadow Fiend. Double Psychic Scream gets tremored by Loveless. Drainer's team still rotting down. He's, he's kind of being greedy with his cooldown. He's got Healing Tide and Ascendance to recover his whole team, but he doesn't want to waste them. He'd rather line them up with Incarn, and he's slowly but surely recovering. Rezu's still just going after Lone Tar, trying to get some cooldowns pulled before we move into Dampening. Yeah, Rezu's good pressure on the Lone Tar. There's the Disarm over on the Drainer, though. Zot and Corky looking to get very aggressive. Managed to get the Cyclone over on the Drainer as well, but really no pressure over on the Rezu. He's able to just do whatever he wants in this matchup. I'd really like to see Zot and Corky pressure Rezu down a little bit more. He's basically able to do whatever he wants. There's a big Earthshock stun coming in from Loveless on the Lone Tar. Ring of Peace going to be activated on the Corky to deny that Cyclone. It gets wind sheared as well, so a little bit of a miscommunication there by Daily Feed. Now Corky's going to have an opportunity to get some Cyclones out after this Incapacitate. This is Serenity coming in from Rezus. Silence on the Drainer. Rezus gets cloned up there, and Lone Tar should be completely fine. Just run away, top himself off. Corky and Zot not under really any pressure. Dampening just kick in. Yeah, dampening will be the name of the game here, and I would say that it's still been an even fight throughout. It's a little bit too hard to call who will have the advantage moving into dampening just yet. I'd say the map maybe favors fake zebras more than anybody else, but if they catch Rezus off guard, He's not going to be able to recover quite as easily. There's nowhere for him to really escape. We see Earthen Shield Totem used by Lone Tar, allowing him to easily tank out Rezu. Support by Corky. Star Surge is flying towards Loveless. He's got almost full Maelstrom. He's ready to go for an Earth Shock attack. Who is he going to go after is the question. Possibly Lone Tar really just holding on to the Maelstrom for quite a long time here. Now dumping it into Zot to Earth Shocks. Didn't get lucky there, unfortunately. Not enough damage to really force much. Stormkeeper chain or Lightning Bolts now. Still not really enough to force too much. Dropping the Primal Elemental, trying to get whatever he can on Zot, but still not even enough to tickle Zot. Zot just standing in his face, tanking all of that damage and nothing getting accomplished there by Loveless. Rezus pre karmering the Bash. Nice read by Rezus. Now going to get Cycloned on it instead by Corky, trying to stall out the game. Lontar is falling behind on mana. We haven't even gotten deep into dampening, and he may need to start looking for a drink, but with a Monk on him, I don't think he's going to find one. That's what I'm saying. Corky and Zot need to get Rezus off of Lontar. There's the Root Beam over on the Drainer. Tries to get away. Rezus manages to survive with the Diffuse Magic. Serenity is pop, but Rezus could be in some trouble. He's all by himself. Drainer finally in a position to get some heals on him. Rezus getting bursted down. Might have to port away. Drainer getting low as well as he's in the middle of the map. Loveless throwing out some heals to keep his team alive. As he's now cycloned up, no Diffuse, no Karma, still has a Fortifying Elixir. Could be a little bit tanky, he's going to be running away, activating that Fortifying Elixir. Forky and Zot have bought, uh, bought Lone Tar some time, maybe he can go for a drink now. I mean, that's the thing with Resto Shaman, the more greedy you are, the more benefit you get. You heal more, the lower health your partners are. are. So Drainer is just playing as greedy as possible uh, to get ahead of that advantage. Lone Tar, in the meantime, drank the full mana, so he's got the edge now moving deeper into dampening. Some damage being lobbed out towards Zot. Not really enough to force anything just yet as he ducks for cover behind that pillar. Corky now left in midfield. Rezu's going to switch his attention to him, but he gets bashed up by Corky. Star Surge is flying in, trying to burst him down, but heals lined up perfectly to pick him back up. Rezu gets cloned as Corky switches targets once again. Over to Loveless, channeling out some Solar Rass. Still just kind of tickling them. We're going to need a lot more dampening, I think, at this point before either team can really make a dent. Lone Tar getting bursted down. Here come the Earth Shocks. Down to half. No Astral Shift for 10 more seconds. They need this pressure on Lone Tar, and they need it now. Stun onto Rezus. Drainer into a root beam. Rezus rolling over. Tigers lust his mount. Zot moves in for a fear, but misses. Nice job by Drainer. Great positioning. Yep. Drainer manages to avoid the fear, but Loveless has the Tremor Totem. Drainer has the Tremor Totem as well. They can support each other with that ability as long as they don't get double feared. Loveless gets a little bit of damage over on the Corky now. Battle of the Wizards. Loveless has to retreat, get in line of sight of Drainer. But Drainer's across the map right now, caught into the silence. Loveless should be able to keep himself alive. There's a touch of Karma coming in from Rezus on the Lone Tar, getting a little bit of pressure, a little bit of momentum. Lone Tar realizing it, drops the Earthen Shield Totem. He's going to be tanking out a lot of this damage. 
spell now on Rezus with that Diffused Magic. So he's activated Touch of Karma, Diffused Magic, Fortifying Elixir, basically everything he has on a Windwalker Monk in order to stay alive. And now, as the Ampening gets higher and higher, it's going to be a lot more sketchy for him to push in and get that pressure on the Lone Tower without being greatly punished. Yeah, and Corky's hardest hitting attack, Incarnation, comes up in 40 seconds. So that window for Corky is the window that they need to find a kill. They need crowd control and Drainer and Rezus at the same time with like a wind shear on Lovelace's healing surges. They actually even got the tank trinket from Rezus. Rezus is in a terrible position. They're forced to bunker down behind this pillar. Lontar can drink for free. Zot and Corky aren't going to overextend. They'd rather trade for mana and go for as late of a game as possible. That appears to be the meta of the day. Who can make it deepest into the dampening pool? Right now, Fake Zebra's in a good position to go the far distance. Now they're splitting up Corky on one side, Zot on the other. They're closing in, in trying to box them. Incarn up in 10 more seconds. Corky needs to make something happen. There's the root beam, but it gets denied. Rezus gets stunned. That stun was one second too late. Now there's no crowd control for Drainy. Corky's trying to capitalize with the bash. Potential Cyclone as well. There's a Cyclone. Incarn available. Corky's going to pop it. They have to kill Rezus here and now. He knows it. He jucks for cover behind the pillar, reconnecting with Drainer, and now should easily survive. Drainer dispelling off dots. Rezus still falling behind. Needs nine more seconds. Will he make it to that point? Drainer reconnecting. Connecting some heals. Four more seconds. Dipping lower and lower. Drainer getting silenced. Trying to line of sight. Loveless trying to toss out some off heals. He makes it to the touch of karma window, allowing daily feed to survive. I think he could have been a little bit more greedy with that touch of karma. They did manage to get it. Rezus maybe just didn't want to throw away the game, but I think he was okay in that situation. Zot and Porky really didn't have too much damage left. Now, once again, not going to have that available for a minute and a half. Still has the diffuse, still has fortifying elixir. Serenity gets popped. A lot of damage on the Zot. Rezus trinkets out of the cyclone into another cyclone. Corky, unbelievable control coming out in this matchup, buying enough time for Zot to get that defense coming in from Lone Tar with that Earthen Shield totem. Now, Rezus' attacks are going to be shrugged off by Zot as Rezus and Drainer and Loveless all have to retreat in this matchup. I mean, we've seen this before. Daily Feed, their entire team is dipping low. Dampening gets higher and higher. Their healing gets lower and lower. I don't know if they're going to be able to make it alive as Fake Zebras look to bring this to game five. Loveless trades out Astral Shift, desperately trying to stay alive. They've got absolutely no momentum. It's completely in favor of Fake Zebras. All they need to do is move forward and stomp them down. Everybody rotting. Drainer still trying to be as greedy as possible, but will the greed be enough? He ducks for cover behind the pillar. Lontar is even throwing out Lava Burst. He's had enough of this. They want to close it, take it to a game five, but they're just stalling it over and over. Drainer's greed paying off. Zot moves in. Corky moves in. They need to make be careful. They can't stack up for a triple stun. Drainer caught into a stun. Zot letting it rip. Vampiric touches for everybody. Drainer ducks for cover around the other side of the pillar. Loveless pairing up with him. Lone Tar might be a miracle opportunity here, but it would be a bit of a throwaway for him to go down with so many cooldowns available. Drainer gets cloned. Rezu trades out defenses to survive. Loveless is rotting, and Fake Zebras get closer and closer to victory. Yeah, Fake Zebras looking really solid in this matchup. 40% dampening. Everyone's 100% HP where they were. Corky now taking a little bit of burst. Loveless gets interrupted. He has to kite away. Corky really doing a lot of damage in this situation. Zot charging in as well. Gets the silence on the Drainer. Loveless all alone in the situation with the cycle. Going over on a Rezus. Touch of Death gets committed onto someone, but really not too much damage going to be following that up. Lone Tar gets bursted down a little bit. Do they have the damage to take him down? I don't think so. Drainer now into the uh. Cyclone. Loveless all alone. Drainer Trinket links. Keep his team alive, but Daily Feud is running out of time. Lone Tar used his Trinket as well. It's a race to the finish at this point. Rezus gets cloned. Good denial from Corky. He's been locking out Rezus time and time again. Drainer pops Ascendance. He gets stunned on it. No Trinket available. Drainer could easily fall. They clone him up. They switch targets. The Rezus has Touch of Karma, though. They need to just gun down Lone Tar. If they don't get a kill on him within the next couple of seconds, Corky has Incarn almost ready to be available, and Lone Tar has nothing to answer it. Lone Tar just needs to not throw away the game like he did earlier, and I think they're going to take this to game number five. Zot's dipping low. They need to trade. Rezus gets cloned. They're trying to hold on to it. Drainer gets silenced. His entire team at 50% HP. There's no real significant healing at this point left for their team. Zot is getting bursted down at the same time. Please don't throw this game away, Lone Tar. You've got it locked in at this point. Incarn gets popped. Corky is hunting them down. All three members in so much trouble at this point. Getting thunderstormed out in the center field. Great thunderstorm from Loveless, actually. Ducking for cover. Lone Tar pops Ascendance to allow his team to stay aggressive. Root Solar Beam, potential Cyclone. There are the Star Surges. Drainer dispels to try and get ahead. Corky gets a clone, though. Loveless and Rezu's alone. Diffuse Magic gets traded out. They're hanging on by a thread. But even with that thread, they might be able to pull off a miracle. Yeah, Zot getting lower. Doesn't want to die without using that dispersion. Drainer gets bashed up in a lot of trouble. No trinket available. Do they have the damage? 50% dampening. A lot of damage coming in from Corky and Zot as they tie up this series 2-2. Two to two. And there it is. You were right. <laughs> I, 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 you were going to say that. Kind of just clump up together. And when you have AOE stunts such as the leg sweep, then it becomes a lot more potent.
And this, folks, once again, the longest series in BFA history. Who is going to come out on top? Who is going to etch their name in the history books? There's going to be a lot of aggression in this match. I fear over on the Loveless Disarm on a Drainer right away. Both teams looking to get aggressive. There's the leg sweep over on Azad. A lot of pressure early on with the Serenity coming in from Rezus. Tank Trinket's going to be activated with the Earth and uh, Shield Totem. Rezus looking for the offensive ring of peace. Doesn't look like he's able to knock Zot off just yet. Loveless and Drainer are going to be jumping down. Yeah, Corky and Zot can now position with one wizard on each side. Actually, both overlapping on the same side. That's a bit of a mistake there. They do manage to push in, and this is the danger, the double-edged sword of this map. They can just get on top of them and try and take them out with Incarnation Window. is much easier on this map. Corky trying to really get something going here. Cyclones on Loveless are gunning down Rezus, but at the same time, he's pulling the trigger now with Touch of Death. Zot retreats back on top of the bridge. He can look for mind controls and bring Rezus downstairs as well. Lontar going through a lot of crowd control right now. Winsher into an incapacitate. That's putting Zot on the back foot. Trying to hang on. Riptides come crashing in. Loosening up his health by a little bit, but now with no Riptides and another Winsher. Great interrupts right now from Daily Feed. That's putting Zot heavily far behind, but now able to recover. Drainers out in the open, and again, they've been constantly making swaps to him, and I feel like Fig Zebras are actually coming out ahead on this map. Yeah, one of the things on, about this map as well is Lontar doesn't have a long distance. He can really hide. So Daily Feed, like you said, getting those Winchers, getting those Incapacitates on cooldown, but Daily Feed falling a little bit further behind. Drainer on 50% HP, trying to line a sight. Lontar, Zot, and and Corky all over him right now. Rez is throwing out the Vivifies to keep him alive. He dispels the dots off himself. Zot's going to be playing upstairs, getting out those VTs right now. Rez is downstairs. This is not the positioning that you really want against this team. You want to be able to continue your aggression. Rez is now moving in with the rushing Jade Wind. Serenity available as well. Trying to put out some pressure over on the Zot. If they can get a nice CC chain on the Lone Tar, they might be able to force out the dispersion. There's the incapacitate. Drainer and a clone as both teams start to gun down for a kill. Bloodlust Serenity combo not really going Ooh. too much. That was just Earthen Shield. Nice, nice ring, of, ring peace. of peace. Hex on Drainer. Loveless Dispel. Zot dipping low. Lontar trying to time some heals. Doesn't want to overlap. Defensive cooldowns. Doesn't look like they're going to need to in this position. But now they're all stacked up. They can get cleaved down by Corky. Drainer's trying to reposition away from that opportunity and deny any benefit. Loveless jumping down. Just trying to evacuate. They're not going to get anything done through the defensive cooldowns. Trying to reposition. Figure out another attack plan. Drainer getting silenced up as they do constantly go after him. And, uh, I mean, this would be devastating to lose this series. I mean, how much time have they sunk into just this series alone? Picking Blade's Edge, they were trying to get an offensive edge, but I, I think it's actually not the case where they're advantaged on this map. I feel like Fake Zebras are actually advantaged because there's nowhere Daily Feed can run away and hide. Yeah, in the meantime, though, looks like a Cyclone's going to be uh, thrown over onto Draenor. Love is going to be taking... A little damage as he's on 50%. There's the incapacitate on Lone Tar once again. Daily Feed doing these consistent setups, but Fake Zebras just has so many defensive cooldowns that they can rotate through. It becomes very difficult for Daily Feed to push through all of them. Hex over on the Drainer now. Like you were saying, Sid, it can be hard for Daily Feed to get those resets, get those runaways. Uh, luckily, they're not afraid to jump down. Rezus downstairs, Loveless downstairs, Drainer downstairs as well. Everyone gets topped off. Now, Zot is in a situation where he doesn't really want to chase. You know, maybe they're baiting him down there. He's not falling for bait just yet. He's happily, happy to sort of stall out the game, wait, get those dots up, and allow Daily Feed to do what they need to do. I mean, Zod also knows it's incredibly unlikely that they can kill before dampening. Uh, they want to try and force a cooldown about a minute, maybe, into it, and then push for a big kill with Incarn. So during this time, it's better to play safe and not risk losing the game. Here comes big damage for Mess Serenity. Tank Trinket triggered by Zot. That is going to allow him to easily soak up this damage. Drainer trying to get ahead of the damage by dispelling dots, rather than healing through them, constantly dispelling. Trying to put the Shadow Priest on the back foot. Torky's the one that's kind of just been chasing them around when they go downstairs, but even then, he's not going to follow. Rezu's ducks for cover as they hide below the bridge. But dots still do damage while you're running away, so this is a favorable position to the fake Zebras. It's just a matter of can they execute enough burst deeper into Dampening to close the game out. It could be a cross kill potentially on this map. It's such an erratic positioning. There's no clear defensive posture for either side to actually take. Saw caught in leg sweep. Bloodlust Ascendance, potentially a huge amount of damage, but that's not even cutting through. Double stun here. Corky gets knocked down by Rezu's perfect ring of peace there into a double fear. Loveless dips low. His tank trigger going to trigger a huge absorb during the Incarn window. Great timing for him, and he's going to easily recover. Yeah, root beam on a trainer. Rezu's able to get him out of that with the Tiger's Lust. It's caught into the Cyclone. A little bit of pressure now over onto Zot. Both teams have sort of stabilized in this positioning. Lontar still has every single defensive cooldown available for his team. Zot gets interrupted. Rezu's 10 seconds on that Serenity. Going to be able to put out huge pressure. So 
Lonesaw realizing the situation, moving back up to a defensive position and on top of Lontar. Now Rezu's getting aggressive. Nice life grip onto Lontar from Zot. That was a bit of a curious life grip there to keep him. I'm not sure why he did that, actually. Yeah, I mean, it, he's not going to have it later on, and now they're kind of stacking up potentially here in the middle of the bridge. Draenor's mana is going down faster. Here's the big red number. Finally, they can make something happen. Ring of Peace knocks Zot down out of line of sight, trying to capitalize on that. Huge burst out of this leg sweep. Lontar repositions. Winshear onto Corky's Cyclone. If they can keep stopping those Cyclones, it's critical to keep their aggression. They don't manage to deny it. Actually, Grounding Totem denies it further. Now another Winshear. Great denial on Corky to push forward towards Zot, but all they get is that tank trinket absorb. Not even pulling a dispersion despite that great interrupt chain on Corky. Yeah, that was Bloodlust and Serenity, and they didn't even force out a dispersion. Just to tell you how tanky these Shadow Priest really is in this matchup. 5% dampening now. Drainer taking a little bit of damage with the stun. The storm coming in from Zot. Zot gets interrupted. Can't disperse for a few more seconds, but not enough damage to really push Zot over the edge. He actually uses the dispersion. It was his tank trick as well as dispersion there, so that was a bit of an overlap by Zot, and that's an opportunity for Daily Feed to secure a kill a little bit later on. Yeah, but he's still got Trinket Life Swap, Trinket Spirit Link. It's still a lot of defensives to go through, unless they make a mistake, and Lone Tar has done that already in this series, but if they don't make a mistake, they've got so many defensives, they're so durable. I feel like Fake Zebras are going to ultimately walk away with the rest of this series. I think they should have picked a map. Daily Feed should have picked a map where they can clearly retreat away and have an advantage in that sense, because on this map, they can't. There's nowhere for them to really hide. Corky can just hunt them down. See Cap Totem on Corky interrupting that Cyclone. Winch here on the follow-up. Corky's been having a rough time this game, though. Zot getting bursted down. Earthen Shield from Lone Tower is protecting Zot, and it will make him even further durable. Nice Cyclone at Loveless at low health, it making it difficult for Drainer to time heals. He dispels Dots into a triple fear, into a hex. Great crowd control here from the fake Zebras as they could potentially close. No, Tank Trick and Absorb going to pop an overlap with the Astral Shift. So Loveless is going to fall behind due to that mistake. Rez is taking a little bit of damage in the meantime, but he has every defensive available as well. 12% dampening. Drainer's mana is looking good. Lone Tar's mana is looking good as well. Drainer's a little bit ahead, uh, but that has been the case in most of these games. Lone Tar falling a little bit far, a little behind. Loveless and Rez put out a lot of single target pressure, taxing the rest of Shaman mana just a little bit more, but it hasn't seemed to matter too much in these games so far. Zot down to around 60% HP. Rez is caught into the bash. There's a cap stun. Nicely done. No CC on the Lone Tar, though. Preemptively casting out those healing ways to keep Zot alive. All right, Zot in a rough position, getting interrupted. He's not able to swap his health. This is match point. He just managed to get the life swap in a panic situation. Now Corky trying to reverse with blood loss. Both teams could be potentially in trouble here as Daphne starts to mount up. Silent, stun, combo, Loveless, overlap, cooldowns earlier on. Can they punish it is the question. Riptides save Loveless. He could duck for cover, but he doesn't want to. He wants to stay aggressive. Will he be able to stay aggressive or will he fall? Corky gets knocked, but it's a bit misplaced. He's not going to get knocked off the side, so Incarn is still rolling. Triple fear from Zot. Is he going to be able to build up any momentum? No. Tremor Totem breaks up that fear. Rezu is now into DR Cyclone. Rezu is on Cyclone DR. He can stay on target. Potentially force a dispersion. Lone Tar falling more and more behind on mana. And suddenly, Daily Feed are it's starting to etch out Get some advantage. Yeah, that is true. 20% dampening. Zot gets interrupted once again. Vampiric Embrace pre preemptively used. A little bit of additional healing. He's going to be able to toss out to himself. Lone Tar still in a good spot to spam out those heals. Drainer with a nice interrupt. Zot getting lower and lower. This could be the dispersion. Thank you. going to be traded out there. It's a touch of karma from Rezus. Rezus really doesn't have too much left in terms of defensive cooldown, so he's going to be a good target for their team a little bit later on. Drainer's going to have to keep him alive, keep him aggressive. This is a good opportunity for them to try to take down Zot. Serenity's going to be up in 10 seconds. What they really need to do is they need to try to get Dispersion before the Serenity, and that's when they can really push through and end up closing out the game. If they just keep trading Serenity for Dispersion, that's a fairly even trade for these teams. Uh, that Ring of Peace just misplaced, knocking Zot into the earthen rather than off the bridge on the opposite side, and Rezus needs to get better Ring of Pieces. I mean, that's the advantage they wanted to get on this map, but Rezus is just not placing them correctly, and Zot's getting full advantage of defensive cooldowns because of it, so Rezus needs to polish that up. Drainer gets caught in center field. Lots of damage Drainer flying towards shot. him. Zot getting bursted down now as well. He's going to disperse at low health. Dampening starting to mount. Things are starting to get interesting. It is match point of potentially the longest series in World of Warcraft history. Zot getting bursted down. He's got really nothing left. Lone Char drops the link. He's not going to throw this game away. It would be such a blunder, so he stays in the fight for just a couple seconds longer. Zot still under fire, and Daily Feed look like they're walking away, Ben. Yep, Zot taking a lot of damage. Ring of Peace going to be dropped out. Drainer need to keep his team alive, keep him aggressive in the situation. Nice Cyclone coming in from Rezus there on 
or nice cyclone on the residue by Corky to slow down some of that incoming damage. But now, once the cyclone DRs are up, Zot's in a lot of trouble. Incapacitate on Lontar. He trinkets out to keep Zot alive. Corky still flailing with the cyclones. There's a silence on the drainer as they try to keep this pressure up Get over on the Bloodlust. Cyclone over Stop on him. That's a Bloodlust as well. But now Zot in a situation where finally he does not have the dispersion for the Serenity of Rezus. 20 seconds. It's going to be a ticking time bomb for fake zebras. Yeah, Zot's got nothing left unless Corky saves him. Corky has to be the most MVP Boomkin ever to survive this next hit in about 10 more seconds. Will Corky be able to save his team and stay in the tournament? It's match point. Zot is under fire. Will he be able to back him up? He's getting windshirt. They need to deny Cyclone as long as possible. He goes for another one. He manages to get it, pausing out the game. Loveless is stalled out. Zot recovers. Lone Trinity is down. Will he be able to survive? Serenity gets popped. It's the final moment. Corky needs to save him, but he's getting shut down even further. He needs a Cyclone. He needs it now, but he's not getting it. Grounding Toad yes. is denying it. Yes. Zot's in so much trouble. There's nothing left standing between him and death at this point. Hanging on by a thread at 10% HP. No. And somehow, no. What not going to be able to keep it going. And daily feed walk away with yes, the longest yes. series I have ever no, seen in World of Warcraft. Warcraft. The Orc is finally pleased. Victory to Daily Feed, man. Somebody needs to tell that Orc to chill. I don't think he's ready for <laughs> This is how everything shakes out now. We got XRB to the moon and Tempo Storm with the best seats in the house right up there at the top with that, that ogre just screaming down at everyone. They're going to be the upper portion of the bracket. They can still lose one time and drop down to the lower final or if they win they go straight to the grand final then we got daily feed going up against some of the toughest competition in the world in method black zico what is it about these squads that allowed them to be our top four teams from the eu well they just figured out what to